Jordy here for CindyCamp.net. Welcome to the ultimate bag comparison. We have five bags right here, all from different brands. We're going to compare them. They're all around the same price and size as well, so it's going to be a great game. But before we start, I do have to mention that Tenba is sponsoring this video. And I was very straightforward to them. If you want to do a comparison on this channel, guys, then I have to be honest. I'm going to have to do an honest review. If some other brand is going to win, then that's going to be the case. And they agreed 100% on that with me, so I'm very glad that we are on the same level. Also, I'm not going to give points uh, in each category that I'm going to compare them with because there are just some features that are usable for some people or for some kind of work and not so usable for other types of work. So that's why I'm going to give either a thumbs up if they pass that category, a neutral if they're just okay, it works, and a thumbs down if they fall out of the game. So let's get started, guys. We have Sackler with us. We've got Tenba, Manfrotto, Think Tank, and Lowepro right here. And the first category that we're going to test them on is the inside, the pads, and the uh, security for your gear itself inside the back. So right here, this is the one from Lowepro. And the first thing that notices my eye is that it has many pads. So that is great. We can all customize them. We can take them out. Uh, it has these Velcro things. What is, however, not so good is that the pads itself are, you know, very hard and uh, they're very thin as well. Definitely these pads right here. So I'm not really a big fan of them. What is, however, pretty cool is that they do have these special pads which allows you to lay your lens in. So that means you can just put your entire body inside this bag without having to take your lens apart. And to show that better to you guys, I have actually a separate pad. This one is from the Tenma bag over there. It kind of works like this. You can use it as a full pad, but you can also take out the middle part and right in here you want to lay your lens. So that is how these lens support pads work, and I'm very glad that they're inside the Low Pro. However, I am going to give this bag right here a neutral thumb, and that is because all of the pads are very thin, and I'm not sure if my gear would uh, be protected that well. Lastly, and I almost forgot it, is the bottom of the bag. It's sturdy. Um, it's, again, pretty hard, but it's sturdy. There is some air between there, and also the sides there also we have some air between that so your gear is protected from the outside. That is good. Next up is the Think Tank. And uh, looking right in here, what notices me again is we have mini pads, we can customize this, all great. And the pads are much thicker. They're also a little bit on the hard side, but not so hard as the Low Pro pads. And they're pretty thick, which is also great. It also has a bottom protection, enough air in there. Uh, also the sides are pretty well, pretty thick, so your gear will be protected pretty good with this bag. Think Tank, you're getting a thumbs up for having thick pads, enough customability, and uh, good security for your gear. Next up is Manfrotto, and this one really stands out because of its very, very thick pads. And this one definitely has the best pads of them all. It stands out great because they're very, they're not hard, they're very soft and they're very thick. That's what I love very much about them. Also the bottom, they've taken care of that too. It's a very thick bottom as well. It takes that uh, protection for your gear again if you would bump your back into something. The same thing goes for the outside as well. There's enough air between that too. So Manfrotto, a big thumbs up for your inside. However, I do have to mention that this one doesn't have those uh, special pads for your lens support into it. Oh, by the way, the Think Tank did have that too, uh, but the Manfrotto doesn't have that. Next up is the Tenda bag. This one is actually pretty special though. First up, the pads itself is nothing really special. They are on the thin sides, but they are soft. Um, they are not as thin as the first bag from Low Pro, so that's why I, I'm still very satisfied with the pads itself. It also has these um, lens support pads, which I'm also a big fan of, and it has these extra larger pads here on top, which kind of protects your gear as well as you're uh, putting it into. And you can also use that for other stuff, by the way. You can take these uh, larger pads out if you want, so attach them somewhere else. It's just a nice addition. It gives some more custom options. And what I definitely love, and this is why this bag is getting a very big thumbs up, is that it comes with this little pouch right here. And I can just kind of take that out, and this is very nice. You can kind of put like cables in here for lighting equipment, for example. If you are with some multiple people on a set, you can kind of give this little pouch right here to someone else and you can start working with those cables uh, on his lighting, etc. And you can just keep working here in your bag with your lenses, your cameras, etc. So it doesn't get in the way. It's very nice that they've kind of have this uh, 
small extra compartments. And then going to the last bag, this right here is the Sector. And unfortunately, this one is a pretty disappointment and you'll see instantly why when I'm opening this bag up. Uh, it doesn't have much pads. The pads itself are, are great. I mean, they are very sturdy, they are pretty thick pads, but you don't get much. And uh, this implies that you can't really customize the inside of this bag. Uh, it is sturdy though, it has a pretty good underground and I forgot to mention that the 10 by also has like extra support on the bottom. Uh, so extra air cushions there, also on the sides, so your gear is safely in here. This one also, the side is a little bit thin though. Yeah, it's more, it feels more like a backpack. Um, the bottom is though very sturdy. But I'm not really a big fan of these pads. I'm sorry, Sackler, but I'm going to give you a thumbs down. You can customize this. It's just not enough pads. Next up are the extra compartments that the bags come with. So that means how much equipment can you get rid of in one of these bags. Let's get started again on the left side here with the Low Pro bag. Looking at the inside, we have uh, some extra pouches, some extra zippers right here to put your gear in, like cables, etc. It is okay, it is there, so um, that is good. On the top, we also have an extra zipper. Right in here, you can add other things like your SD cards or um, like other small cables, whatever you want, but it's not like a deep uh, pouch. So uh, it's just a small little compartment, not too much. And your laptop, you would actually want to put that right here. And what I don't like that much is that your laptop is not really secured in place because there's no zipper right here. Uh, then on the sides, we don't really see much. There are no bags on the sides. On the bottom, we do have like a little compartment, but that is for the raincoats and we'll get dive into that in just a moment. So low pro, I'm going to give you the neutral score and that is because you're not really convincing me with your extra compartments. You have them, but not too much. Next up is the Tank Tank. Opening this one up right here, we again have some zippers here on the inside. It's not too much, nothing fancy. They are transparent, so that means you can kind of see the stuff that you have laying in there, which is pretty convenient. Uh, furthermore, on the outside of the back, we have here on the front, we have this elastic pouch which is open. That is nice for documents like a scenario, a script or anything like that, a shot list. I wouldn't put your laptop in here. Well, that is also okay because here we have a special laptop uh, place. And this bag right here does go all the way to the bottom. And they also have some extra things here like an extra zipper to put your SD cards. You have an iPad holder. Uh, you can add some pens in here. So enough compartments right here and that is what I really like about this bag. It comes with tons of extra small little compartments. Looking further on this bag, on the sides right here, we don't really have that much. On the back also, we don't have anything else, but it's, it's making it all up with the fronts. You have enough extra compartments here on the front, so thumbs up, think tank. Next in line is the Manfrotto. Again, we have all the zippers here. Uh, it does come with one extra compartment. Uh, on the top right here, we also have again a compartment for our laptop. And I just closed that lid, <laughs> opening that bag up. Uh, what I'm not really so satisfied with this compartment right here is that it's just one big compartment and that's it. Uh, there are two compartments, so you also have like a small zipper in here. But if you want to get like an extra pen or something uh, in here, then you have to throw that all the way in the bottom and we still have a little camera plate in here. Nice. Uh, so that a little bit about the top of this case on the sides. We don't have extra pouches. This one right here is for your tripod, which we'll dive in later. In the back also nothing. Uh, because your top compartment isn't all that great, Manfrotto, I'm also going to give you that neutral score right here. Going to the Tenba bag, in the inside we have uh, the normal zippers. It's not that much. Uh, I think Manfrotto had the most in here, uh, but you can see through them, which is uh, important. So uh, that is all good. Then looking on the top of this bag, opening that up, right here we have again that laptop compartment. And this one here is pretty cool. We have uh, two big compartments and then we have some smaller pouches right here to put pens, business cards, little SD cards, whatever. You can get them rid in those compartments. Looking at the sides right here, we don't have anything there. On the other side also we have this right here is a, again that tripod holder which we'll dive into later. In the back though we have an extra compartment which is pretty cool. They call it the battery compartment. Uh, I'm not sure if I would put my batteries in there. But uh, an extra little pouch there to get rid of some extra equipment. So that's all pretty cool. 
Uh, Temba, you're getting a thumbs up from me because you have some more extra compartments. And then going to the Sackler on the inside, what we have right here is nothing. Then on the outsides, we have a very small compartment. This is good for some SD cards, some pens, some business cards, whatever. Uh, but it's nothing really fancy. I'm, I'm not really thrilled about the space that we have there. Looking on the sides, we do have like an extra little compartment right here. This is pretty nice for a water bottle or something like that. That is nice if you're traveling. On the other side, we have a tripod holder. And on the back in this ear, I think we do have Somewhere right here it is. Uh, all the way on the back, we do have our laptop compartments, but it's just one compartment which goes all the way to the bottom. So again, you can't really put small stuff in here. So I think you guys all know which score I will give to Sackler. Thumbs down. Next up on the list, guys, is mobility. And if you are getting one of these bags which has wheels on the bottom, then mobility is pretty important probably for you. So let's get started with the first bag. This one is pretty interesting, the Low Pro. Let's first start with the standard things. You know, it has wheels, rubber wheels with plastic on the inside. All of them have that, by the way. Um, I think it's hard plastic. I think all of these will be pretty sturdy, so that is fine. They have a nice little zipper right here on which you can extend the, uh, the hand grip to roll on the wheels. It's a little bit wiggly though, but it works and I like that it's inside a zipper. Uh, you do have to fumble it out a little bit, but if you're not using that, it kind of protects that. Then what I also find important is that you can lift up the bag from the top, but also from the side if you are walking up to a stair. And it also has a, like a bottom grip, so that means if you are going to lift your bag up like this, kind of put it into a rack or something like that, you can also take it up like that. Now the Low Pro right here comes with a little extra feature when it comes down to mobility. And that's what I like very much about this one. You can kind of open this zipper right here around the back and that allows you to take out the back from its back. And look at this guys, we right now have a backpack. So that adds an extra feature to its mobility. Put it on your back and pretty cool about what you have left right now is that you can also zip this right here in like that and you have an extra bag right now. So you know, it's just two bags. So if you're traveling, you can put your clothes in here, which is one big compartment. But I see that as a very, very good extra feature from Low Pro. So if you are traveling a lot, this is definitely something that you will like a lot. So Low Pro, I've given you some more neutral scores in the past, but for mobility, a big thumbs up. You know what? Two thumbs up. Next up is the Think Tank, and Think Tank has you know, the standard things. You have the extension right here to roll on the wheels. It goes a little bit higher than this one, so the Think Tank is definitely more suited for taller people. Um, it's all aluminum, that is great. It has a top handle, it has a side handle on whoops, this side right here, and also a little bit on the bottom, a little hand grip here on the bottom so that you can take it up, put it into a rack. Nothing special here, but it has it all. I'm giving you a thumbs up because you have that side handle. Not all bags have that. Uh, Manfrotto also here, nothing really special. You know, it has the extension right here. It goes pretty high up. It's aluminum, it's sturdy. It doesn't wiggle as much as with the Low Pro. Uh, it has its side handle right here. It has a top handle, and you can also take it with this little extension right here to put it into a rack. Nothing special here about that. It rolls all great. All these bags, they roll as they should roll. Uh, so again, here also, thumbs up. You've done a great job when it comes down to mobility. Tenba, it's just the same. Nothing special here. You can extend this right here. It goes up pretty high, so that is all good. You have a side handle, you have a top handle, and you can also lift it up with the bottom handle like this, put it into a rack. All the same, thumbs up, good job, Tenba. Sackler, this is always like a little bit funny when I'm <laughs> coming to the last bag right here. But actually Sackler is not doing that uh, bad in this category. Let me just close that for a moment. I'm putting it up, let's start with the extension of the bag. It's also in a little zipper right here, so that kind of protects it if you're not using it. It goes up pretty high, it's a little different design. I like this, it's sturdy and all, so uh, good job on that one, Sackler. Then looking at the rest, you can lift it up from the top, that is good, but you don't have any, anything from the sides, nor the bottom. So you can't put it in a rack, as you can see, it's just falling there. And if you're walking up to a stair, you kind of have to like grab it from the side pocket, from your water bottle pocket. <laughs> um, but you're making it all up with an extra nice feature. Let's open this up right here. Look at this. 
we have a backpack. It's not as cool as with the first one, with the one from Low Pro, where you also had like that extra compartments, uh, like this extra bag. Um, but it's nice for traveling, and that's also kind of how they market this bag right here. They market it to travel with. So uh, it's nice that you have that. You don't have the side grips, but you're all making it up with the backpack feature. And it, I haven't aligned it yet, but uh, you guys know how it works. So, Sector, here goes your first thumbs up. Moving on with the next category, and that is the tripod holder. All these bags have a tripod holder, so we want to see how does it look and how does it compare. The one from Low Pro has two straps in which you can attach your tripod in. This is pretty good for more universal tripods, however, don't stick big tripods in here. It's all for travel-friendly small tripods. But uh, it's a good system, I believe. Uh, two straps, nothing more, nothing less. So uh, you're getting a thumbs up because of the universal tripod holder. Next up is the Think Tank, and this one is here on the right side. But the Think Tank is a little bit different. They have like this very small pouch here on the bottom, in which you can put your tripod in, but then you would need like this extra accessory, like an extra bag, or I believe that you even have to attach it like this. I'm not even sure how you would attach this. I haven't tried it yet, honestly. That's just because, you know, it's, it's not user-friendly. Look, I mean, look at this. How many straps and bags are these to attach your tripod on the side? I'm sorry, uh, think tank, but I'm going to give you a thumbs down for your tripod holder. I mean, this is just not user friendly. Next up is Manfrotto, also a tripod manufacturer. So um, I'm pretty thrilled to see what they have in mind right here. They have a small pouch here on the left side, which you can fit your tripod in, and then you kind of extend your tripod out from here, and you can kind of attach that. You have like different heights right here, and it just comes with one very small strap, and that is okay. I mean, this is, this is user-friendly. You just put this little strap in here once, and you can just let it stay there, and that way you can kind of lock your tripod into place. Also, a more universal way to put your tripod in here. So I'm a big fan. Thank you, Manfrotto, for that. Thumbs up. Next one is Tenma Bag. They also have a little different uh, technology going on here. You have to open up this very big pouch on the left side of the bag, and that way you can kind of put your tripod in here. Um, and you also have like a small strap to uh, put it into place. I like this very much because you have this big pouch. That way I kind of feel more secure that your tripod sits good in place. It's not really the same as with Manfrotto. They have like a small uh, pouch. So uh, Tenma, good job with this one. Thumbs up. I'm really satisfied or really uh, I feel good or I feel secure to put my tripod in your bag. That sounded weird, doesn't it? Okay, next one is the Sackler, and uh, where is your tripod holder? It's right here. They have also a compartment, and you can put your bag in here, uh, your tripod in here, or you can put a bag in there, it doesn't matter. And your tripod sticks out, but it doesn't have anything to secure that in place. So uh, you'll need to get these um, self-tighten zippers. Yeah, I'm sorry, Sackler, you're just disappointing me again here. Turn them down. Moving on with the next one on the list, guys, are the accessories. Which extra things am I getting with the bag? Let's start again with the first one, Low Pro. Opening up this bag, the first thing that I noticed is two extra small bags. So this is pretty nice, kind of the same idea behind the one from Tenba, where you can kind of take that uh, compartment out and give that to someone else. Maybe you can put in some cables in here or something that is more for the lighting department so that they can start setting up their lights. It's also, I believe, a little bit waterproof, not sure. I should have tested this. Anyways, uh, it's also nice to put in makeup or small liquids, anything like that. It's more secure than if you just put it in your bag together with the rest of your equipment. So a nice extra feature. It also comes with two elastic bands. Not sure yet where I want to use that, but it's nice and I'm getting these extra things. Also, and this is, uh, close that. With this bag, we can find it here on the back. When it's raining outside, it's pretty important as well. Opening this up right here. Hey, we've got a raincoat! So you can kind of wrap this all around your bag, having a little raincoat for your bag. So uh, closing that again. Good job, low pro, big thumbs up for all the extra accessories. Then comes Think Tank, opening this up. We're not really getting that much extra. Uh, we do get the raincoat right here. It's a blue bag. So that is nice, you can uh, throw that over your back, but for the rest, there's nothing more in there. Uh, we have some, uh, this was for your tripod, which I wasn't really a fan of. Um, well, that's kind of it. Neutral score, you have your raincoat, but that's it. You haven't really excited me. 
Manfrotto, also here we have that raincoat and that's kind of it. No extra accessories with this one. So also here I'm going to give you a neutral score for accessories. Next one is Tenba. We've already talked a little about these extra things. You have some two extra pads right here, which I like. You have this extra compartment, which you can take out. Um, and you have a ring coat as well. And because of these small extra things, I'm going to give you a thumbs up for the extra accessories. Thank you, Tenba. The next one. <laughs> Sector. This is actually pretty funny. Um, they kind of market their bag as uh, a very travel friendly. You know, you can have it like a backpack, you can take it out for uh, traveling through the mountains to hike, um, but it doesn't even come with a raincoat. And that is just funny. Um, uh, furthermore, are there accessories? Janik, do we have accessories with the Sackler? We don't have any accessories with the Sackler, not even a raincoat. I'm going to give you two thumbs downs for the accessory category, Sackler. Damn it. And that brings us to the last category of this comparison video, guys, and that is security. And I'm also going to talk a little bit about warranty. Starting off with the first bag, first of all, they give you a lifelong warranty. You don't start cutting your bag with a knife. I mean, this is, this is more for uh, factory malfunctions. Furthermore, they have a lock as well here on the side. This is a zipper lock, so you can kind of lock your zippers here in place, and you have three numbers to lock that or to secure that so that nobody can access your stuff within the bag. You can also open that up with a lock. Pretty standard, these locks. They almost all have them, so I'm going to give them a neutral score. Thank you for having that low pro, but you're not really giving extra stuff. Extra stuff that the Think Tank does have. Looking here, all the way here on the back, no, on the top, I'm sorry, there's a small little zipper, and right in here we can find this little short right here with an extra lock pad. And that way we can kind of lock our back to a pole or, or like a tree or something like that. If you have to leave and you are in a dangerous place, or you're just shooting somewhere where the neighborhood isn't really that friendly, then you also might want to lock your back somewhere in place while you are doing your work so that nobody can walk up to your back, grab it, and fastly run, run away. So in terms of security, a big plus that you have that. Thank you so much, Think Tank, for having that feature. Furthermore, also lifetime uh, warranty and also has the same numeric uh, zipper lock on the side. So a big thumbs up for that extra security feature. Moving on to the Manfrotto, nothing special here actually. They also have that uh, lock on the side. It's exactly the same. As far as warranty goes, you only give uh, two years, you know, five years of warranty, I'm sorry. Manfrotto five years warranty, so that is definitely long, long enough. Um, I'm going to give you a neutral score though, because you don't have extra features. Again, extra features that the Tenma bag does have. The Tenma bag also comes with that same numeric lock, zipper lock on the side. Uh, it also gives five years of warranty, but we're looking here all the way you know, on, on the top. We also have that same zipper, just like with the Think Tank, so they're kind of on the same level there. Right here we have... <laughs> Janik is kind of pointing here to me. It's not on the top, it's on the side. Yeah, they have it on a different location. It is actually a nice extra set. What, what's this for, Janik? I haven't really seen this yet. This goes together with the extra accessories, I think. Not sure what it is, but... Uh, Nice that it's there, I guess. <laughs> okay, looking here on the side, because we're doing the uh, category now for security. Also here, we're getting that extra strap here to uh, lock your back to a pole or to a tree or, or whatever. So uh, thank you for having that uh, ten bomb. You're giving some extra features to security, so a thumbs up for you guys. Sackler doesn't have um, that nice extra uh, short to lock the back to a tree. It doesn't have a normal zipper lock. And I think they kind of know what they're doing here because they have something extraordinary going on with your warranty. You're getting one entire year warranty on this back. But guys, here's the pretty cool thing about the Sackler back. If you would give your email address to them by signing up to their newsletter, you're actually getting two years of warranty. Thumbs down, Sackler. And that's it for this comparison video, guys. I hope that you had some more insights now of which bag to get. I want to thank Tenba so much for sponsoring this video, for providing all of these bags. 
definitely make sure to check out the description below where I'll leave a link to all these bags plus the results and also leave a link to the Cinelux collection of Tenba. They actually have some more bags uh, in this series. You have this doctor case bag, which is pretty cool because you can just kind of put your entire camera in that bag. Uh, they also have a smaller air case uh, from uh, this series right here. So make sure to check all that out, guys. It's pretty awesome. Now you're probably wondering which one do I really recommend to you guys? Well, that's kind of a personal choice uh, that you have to make for yourself. But to help you out here, uh, the Low Pro right here, all the way on the left side, it didn't always come with, with, the, with the best core in the categories, but when it comes down to mobility or traveling with this bag, I can definitely recommend it. So if you're traveling, get this bag. You can transform it into a backpack. You have an extra bag for your clothes, etc. I love this one. Then when it comes down to sturdiness, if you're going to throw a lot with your bag, then this one here is definitely the one to go, the Manfrotto bag. As you can see, the pads are just so thick, that bottom is also very thick, very sturdy. You can really throw your gear with this bag. Then looking at the overall use of the bag, it's kind of Tenba versus the Think Tank. Now what I don't really like that much about the Think Tank is that this flap just flaps all the way open like that. Um, so it's not really easy to work with. And that is something I love very much about the Tenba bag. You can just open that up and it will stay there. Not something with the Manfrotto bag that will just always close again. So uh, Tema bag, I think you're kind of my favorite. And that's, and that's because these guys are sponsoring us. These bags really come close together. Definitely like these three bags, unless you're traveling, of course. The recycler bag is something that I cannot recommend to anyone. And you guys have seen why that is. I am not sure why, because Cycler really makes awesome products when it comes down to tripods and all. Uh, but their bag is really a flop. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever about these bags, let us know in the comments below. But most importantly, stay creative. Hey, guys. Jordi didn't like the cycler bag, so he gave it to me, and I found a really good use for it.